それでは皆さん、Today I want to introduce some new grammar for this chapter. We're going to be talking about、um, some more ways that we can use adjectives. So, we talked in the previous video about the two kinds of adjectives that we have e adjectives and na adjectives. So, whenever we were putting an adjective right in front of a noun, there was no difference between how we use e adjectives and how we use na adjectives. But when we use them at the end of the sentence, there is some slight differences. So, let's take a look at those. 宿題は難しいです。宿題は難しいです。宿題は難しくないです。宿題は難しくないです。そう、宿題 and 難しい are two new vocab. Words that we have from this chapter. Shukudai meaning homework and muzukashi meaning difficult. Given what we know about a wa b i d a structures, we can tell that this means the homework is difficult. How about this though? Shukudai wa muzukashi ku nai desu. This is one of the, the new forms that we are going to be talking about today. So, when we use adjectives in Japanese,、um, we have affirmative and negative versions of them. So, in English, we say like difficult and not difficult. So, we use multiple different words.、Um, but in Japanese, instead of changing the,、um, instead of adding extra words,、um, we change the word itself. So, instead of saying not difficult, We're instead going to change the word difficult to muzukash kunai desu. Muzukash kunai desu. So, shukudai wa muzukashi desu. The homework is difficult. Shukudai wa muzukash kunai desu. The homework is not difficult. So, we have oishi i desu. Oishi i desu. It is delicious. And, oishiku nai desu. Oishiku nai desu. It is not delicious. So, when we have an adjective at the end of a sentence in Japanese,、um, we have a present affirmative. And that is whatever word we're describing, wa, adjective desu. So, for an e adjective like samui or muzukashi, all we have to do is stick des on the end. So, samui des, muzukashi des. For a na adjective, which we'll talk about in just a minute, the pattern is similar.、Um, but beyond just putting des on the end, we also actually have to get rid of the na. So, genki na, we change just to genki desu. Genki desu ne.、Um, kire na, we change back to just kire desu. Kono heya wa kire desu. So, e adjectives, we just put desu on the end. Na adjectives, we get rid of the na and then put desu. So, When we have an e adjective at the end of a sentence, when it's affirmative, like I said, when we're saying that something is difficult or is delicious, all we have to do is add on the des. When it's negative, then we have to make a change. We are going to take the adjective that we have, which always ends with e, right? That's why it's called an e adjective. We're gonna get rid of the e and instead put ku nai desu. So, muzukashi i, drop the e, put ku nai desu. Muzukash ku nai desu. Oishi i, drop the e, put ku nai desu. Oish ku nai desu.
So the affirmative, just the E plus des, like kyo wa atsui des. Today is hot. Negative, get rid of the E and instead put kunai des. Kono shukudai wa yasash kunai des. This homework is not easy. Yasash kunai des. Now we have one exception to this rule, um, one situation that's a little bit weird, and that is the adjective e, which means good. So normally, um, when we have an adjective in the present tense affirmative, it's um, just that adjective plus des, and when it's negative, we get rid of the e, and we put kunai des. For e, um, we do have the e des um, for the present affirmative, but the negative is a little bit different. The negative changes to yokunai des, yokunai des. So e des, the negative version is yokunai des. And the same is actually true for one other adjective that we're going to learn in this chapter. And that is kakkoi des. So kakkoi des, the literal meaning of this word kakkoi, it means like good looking. And like the literal meaning is that somebody's looks are good. Um, so that is why this e is actually the same as the e that means good. So when we want to make kakkoi into a negative, this one actually does get changed to kakkoyokunai desu. Kakkoyokunai desu. So it's a little bit weird, just something you have to pay attention to. E changes to yokunai desu. Kakkoi changes to kakkoyokunai desu. There will be a couple more words like this that are related to this E that we will study in later semesters. We'll let you know when we come across them. So for example, we might say, Kyo no tenki wa yokunai desu. Today's weather is not good. Kyo no tenki wa yokunai desu. Okay, so that's the E adjectives. Now let's take a look at the na adjectives. So, for example, genki desu. Genki desu. They are energetic. Genki janai desu. I'm not healthy. I'm not doing good. Genki janai desu. So, genki desu. Genki janai desu. Both of them coming from the na adjective. Genki na. Shizuka janai desu. Coming from the na adjective, shizuka na. This na adjective at the end of sentences, once again, when it's affirmative, what I want to do is get rid of the na in a na adjective and put des. When it's negative, I'm going to take the na adjective without the na and put janai desu. Now this janai des might sound sim might sound a little bit familiar to some of you. We talked about this back in chapter two. Um, so na adjectives actually work the same as nouns, like gakuse des, gakuse janai des. Na adjectives work exactly the same. So genki des, genki janai des, shizuka des, shizuka janai des. Gakusei desu, gakusei janai desu. Exact same pattern. So let's take a look again. Na adjectives at the end of sentences. If it's affirmative, drop the na and change to desu. Tokyo wa nigiyaka desu. Tokyo is lively. If it's negative, Drop the na and change to janai desu. Yamada-san wa genki janai desu. 
Yamada-san is not feeling well. So, and that adjective works just like a noun. So, just like we say, gakusei desu, gakusei janai desu, nihonjin desu, nihonjin janai desu. We can say, nigiyaka desu, nigiyaka janai desu, genki desu, genki janai desu. So, to review, we have two main types of adjectives in Japanese. E adjectives, And na adjectives. E adjectives always end with e. Na adjectives always end with na. When we want to make e adjectives to be affirmative at the end of a sentence, we just put des. If we want them to be negative, we have to get rid of the e. Sorry, the x should be over here, I'm sorry. We should get rid of the e and put kunai des. Our one exception being e des, which changes to yokunai des. Na adjectives are ones that end with na.、Um, when we have a na adjective at the end of the sentence, if it's affirmative, we want to get rid of the na and add des. If it's negative, we want to get rid of the na and add janai des. They work just like nouns. So let's try some together. See if you can change some mui and e. To the present tense, affirmative and negative forms. Are you ready? Let's check together. So, samui, the present tense, affirmative, samui desu. And the negative, samu kunai desu. Remember that we have to make sure to drop the e sound. How about e, the present tense? E des. And the negative? Yokunai des. Okay, now let's take a look at shizuka na. How can we make it into the present tense, affirmative and negative forms? Ready? Let's check together. So, the present tense, affirmative? Shizuka. We get rid of the na. Des. Shizuka des. The negative? Shizuka janai des. Okay, so now that we have introduced how you can conjugate adjectives into the present tense, you are ready to complete the practices that you can find below.